Here, we are going to go over the deployment of the AngioSeal closure device. When you open the package, you can see it comes with two separate components. It comes with a short exchange wire. The arteriotomy locator comes in two separate pieces. You put this together by attaching arrow to arrow and making sure that it clicks. So insert it like this and then line up the arrows and then you keep pushing until you either feel or hear the click. You also get the second packet here in the foil package. Open this from the side that's indicated. I usually keep it half open on the table because you don't want to get the tip wet. But I'm going to show you what it looks like by taking out the rest of it. So you can see the foot plate and the collagen plug at the end here. Looking at the locator, you can see that there's a hole on the distal tip. This is what goes into the lumen. There's another hole at the back end. The inner hole is the blood inlet, and when this passes into the arteriotomy, you will get blood coming out of the upper hole, which is called the drip hole. This is what confirms that you're intraluminal. On this model, the yellow layer represents the arteriotomy. The skin and subcutaneous tissue would be above this. When we're getting ready to deploy the angioseal device, we're going to take our wire, either the included wire that comes with the angioseal or your regular J wire, and perform an exchange to take the sheath out. So insert the wire like you normally would. And then once you have a sufficient amount inside, you're going to walk the sheath out while maintaining the wire in the lumen. You're going to need to maintain hemostasis at the site, so manual hemostasis with your fingers. The next step is to load the angioseal introducer onto the wire. Usually you'll have a second person that's able to help you with this, but I'm doing it by myself here. Remember that in reality you would have to continue to maintain hemostasis at the site. Make sure that you have wire coming out of the proximal port of the introducer and then in, insert the introducer through the entry site of the skin into the arteriotomy. Once the blood inlet hole passes the arteriotomy, you would see blood coming out of the drip hole on the outside. This means you're in the lumen. Then what you do is slowly walk that introducer out of the arteriotomy and you would see the blood stop when the inlet hole escapes the arteriotomy. Then walk it back in approximately a centimeter. You would see blood coming out at this time and you're going to fix the locator at this point so your left hand is going to stay stuck at that point. You're not going to let it move in or out. Now you're going to grasp that outer piece and the wire and I use kind of an up and down motion while pulling to separate the two pieces and then you're going to take that piece and the wire out all at once. Remember that your left hand stays fixed here. Now you're going to grab your second component of the angio seal. At the end here you have the bypass tube which has the anchor and the collagen plug in it and you're going to hold it close to that anchor bypass and push it into the hole on the piece where your left hand is. This stabilizes it and now you can feed the rest of it in. Now again you're going to line up arrow to arrow and the blue wings you're going to push together and you'll feel a click. This deploys the anchor and then you pull back and that pulls the anchor against the introducer. Now you're ready to deploy the angio seal. So you're going to pull back and this brings the anchor up against the arteriotomy. Now on this model I have to hold manual pressure. In reality you can just pull. And you're going to pull with basically guitar string tension with your right hand. This brings the anchor up against the arteriotomy and now the device is all on the suture. You can see the, the collagen is down by the arteriotomy but you need to tamp it down. So while maintaining guitar string tension on the suture on the device, 
you're going to grab that blue tube and push down into the arteriotomy. It's kind of a slow continuous pressure and over time the collagen kind of gets compressed and you can see that there's a black mark on the suture. This mark, once you see it, tells you that you've reached the deployment of the collagen. At this point, you would take your sterile scalpel or scissors, and you're just going to cut the suture above the tamp tube. Then you would pull the tamp tube off and cut the suture just at the level of the skin or just below. Now on this model, we're taking a look at what the arteriotomy actually looks like. You can see that the collagen plug is over the outside of the arteriotomy and the foot plate is on the inside. There's a short piece of absorbable suture as well. And then here we can look at the arteriotomy in close up. So you can see the collagen plug with the suture on top. And this is the anchor that's holding it from the inside of the arteriotomy. All of those components get absorbed within 60 to 90 days.